Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I know that I am really sporadic when it comes to posting and a lot of it kind of just goes with my work schedule and my kids' sports schedules and all that, but I'm trying to get better about posting because um, I do tend to buy quite a bit and I do tend to use it quite a bit. I just am not really good at sharing it. So I'm trying to get better. So. Um, I have a couple hauls to share. Um, this first haul is actually from um, Crafters Warehouse in Boise, Idaho. I had to go up to Boise for a soccer tournament and one of my all-time favorite places to stop is uh, in the Crafters Warehouse. I know that there's only a few throughout the United States, maybe, I, I honestly don't know, maybe five or less. Um, it could be more, but every time I look, um, there aren't that many, but so I did stop into the one in Boise and I like them because uh, they carry a lot of the name brands that generally you can only find online or if you have a local scrapbook store near you. And unfortunately I don't have one near me anymore. So that's why I like going in there. Um, so we'll just start with some of the basics here. Um, I did get some tools that, um, it's just stuff that I figured I would use or something that I use often and I don't have very many of. So this is one of the things I got. Um, and this is to help organize some of my supplies on my desk. And it just keeps the items from moving around and falling down. If you watch YouTube a lot, you'll notice that a lot of crafters actually have these. Um, I got it on sale or clearance for 10 bucks. So I decided to pick that up. Uh, another tool that I got... Um, that I often find myself reaching for is scoring tools and um, like piercing tools because when I'm either doing hand sewn projects or when I'm doing like intricate dies, I'm always trying to poke out those little pieces just so my die cuts better. So I picked this up because I, I think it was on sale when I got it. Um, not on sale, it's five bucks. So I felt like five bucks for two of them. And then if you get it on sale, it's an even better deal. I did pick up um, some of this Distress um, like glitter paste. It's by Tim Holtz. I do have several glitter pastes and I actually have a lot of glitter. Um, and I wasn't gonna get this until I saw it on a project and saw like how saturated the gold glitter comes through when you're using this. So I actually really wanna use this on some stencils. Um, I just got it in, let's see, garland and tinsel colors. I think they have like two or three other sets, but I just got this one to try it. I also picked up some more uh, Distress embossing glaze. Um, I really like these and I've been slowly um, adding them to my collection. Um, every time a new Distress color comes out, I always buy the Oxide, their Oxide Reinker, and then one of these. Um, I just really like them. So I got uh, Weathered Wood and Cracked Pistachio. And I think now maybe I've got maybe five of them, but I wanted to get these. And then I got uh, this lacquer pen by Hero Arts. This is basically like using um, kind of like stickles or like Nuvo Drops. It's along the that line but it's got um, glitter in it so it's kind of saturated with glitter so then you can make you know centers of snowflakes or anything that you want to put um, a, dop a, a, a drop of glitter on. Then I got this uh, Big Sty by Catherine Breen and it actually makes a tag, um, a little tag box. I felt like I could probably make this on my own without the die, but I really like uh, the simplicity of using this. It only cuts out three pieces, so I felt like it'd be easier to use that way. And then I got this Tim Holtz, um, like it's almost like a matchbox. It's pretty big, and then it has a, di a separate die set on the back here. It looks like that does the numbers and then the circles to cut out a window here. Um, this has been out for a few months. I've gone back and forth on buying it because I do have another Matchbox die. But I like that these Bigs uh, dies cut through um, 
thicker material like the chipboard so I think it would be fun to make one of these out of chipboard so then it's you know longer lasting and not so flimsy. I picked up these um, to and from stamps. They're actually uh, hero art. I felt like I, I wanted just like a really quick to and from just to have sitting on my desk for when I'm making Christmas tags or other tags. I then picked up two, let's see, one, two of the 3D embossing folders. This one by Eileen Hull uh, just came out and it is amazing if you see it on projects. Um, it makes like a knitted sweater. So I really wanted this one. I, I might have gotten it on another order, but that order hasn't come yet. So if I did, then, you know, I'll just have two of them. Um, but just seeing this on projects, I kind of knew I had to have it. And then I found this one um, that also kind of does like a, a sweater looking impression. I don't see what it's called. It's called knitted. So it's, you know, along the same lines. The, the patterns are just a little bit different. One's like um, more like a corded knit. And then this one's just without those cords. Um, but these 3D embossing folders are kind of incredible, like the impression that they'll come out with. Then I got this by uh, Hero Arts. It is if it's got a name doesn't have a name oh yeah it does hocus pocus and i got it because i really 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 like halloween and i especially love like this these vintage um like witch images plus it was on clearance for five bucks um, unfortunately there was no dye with it i don't know if it comes with a dye i would imagine since it's hero arts it probably does uh, but the uh, crafters warehouse didn't have the dye then on clearance i got this very large six by six background stamp and it is um, obviously it can go either way it can go kind of like the just the creepy background or it can go spider web i think they intended it as spider web yeah spider web bold prints but it also kind of reminds me of like a like a psychedelic background a little bit it was on clearance for $9.50. Then I got this um, photo play dye and stencil set. Um, it obviously just cuts the three pumpkins and then this stencil makes it so you can like mix and match um, the faces you put on your pumpkins or you can, you know, do ombre coloring or whatever you want. Again, clearance, so I picked those up even though Halloween's now over. Another clearance thing I got um, that I'm always looking to add to my collection of is teacher things, especially going through the pandemic and having to help out with school at home. Um, I feel like teachers are uh, just as important as they've ever been. So I got this set, this set by, um, I think it's yeah, Photo Play, and it is a die. And then um, just some apple sentiments and then a, a little worm. I think it says, oh, you're the best teacher. Thanks so much. And I love my online teacher. Then I picked up this set by Photo Play. Um, it's just a gingerbread with the stencils here. So then you can um, put like, so you can color, um, use whatever color you want and use your stencils that way. And then you can also do the outline. So you can do just the outline of the gingerbread man, or you can do like the outlines, like the, the frosting uh, details, where you can make it look kind of girly. Um, you can have it with a bow tie. You can have it with um, pants and a shirt. You can have it with a dress. So I really like this. So then I can use, um, I was thinking I'd do some craft card stock and then use these detail dies with probably some embossing paste and just give it that like 3D look. Then I got this set by Photo Play and it is the Jolly Old Saint Nick. I really liked how big it was. I felt like it'd make really cute and quick tags. Um, like I'm not much of a color, like I don't color often. I do have the stuff to color, but I felt like 
Um, this could go either way. I could color it or I could not, and it would still work great. Then I got this set here, again, by Photoplay. Um, it's uh, mittens. And it does, again, come with, like, all of the detail stencils. And I love that they're coming out with this because I feel like the detailed stencils are so much quicker and faster than, um, like, a two- or three-layering stamp where you're constantly having to go back and stamp and try and get those, um, those deeper details. This is a lot quicker and faster. Then I got this Slimline die, um, again, by Photoplay. It is etched oh wait lattice cover plate um photo play has come out with a lot of really great slimline dies slimline uh envelopes slimline stamps um they're coming out with some really great stuff so i got this one because i know that i don't have this one yet then i got this set by again by photo play it's a2 nested arches um, I liked how big they were, and then I just don't really have this shape in my collection, so I, I went ahead and got that. Then I got, I think there's another one, yeah. So if you've seen uh, the Hero Arts stuff, or if you're a big Hero Arts fan, which you can tell that I obviously am, they have like this new um, collection, I guess you could call it, it's called Looking Glass. It's basically where you can create a card. Um, let's see if there's, no. It's basically where you can create a card that has these um, layering pieces on top of one another. And it creates like almost truly like they're saying, like a looking glass um, image. So like for example, if you see right here, um, with the windmill and then the two different layerings of the uh, tulips, you cut it into your card and then you layer these. And so then it creates a 3D effect. And I really like um, how quick and easy these cards are to make. So uh, as soon as I saw this one, I knew I didn't have it. So I picked up this windmill set. It's actually called Windmill uh, Tulips. And then they had some Christmas sets. Um, I think there was maybe three or four. I just got these two because I felt like these were the ones I'd actually use. Um, so this one creates uh, some like vintage ornaments um, and then the background. And then this one creates um, snowflakes and then a background. And then I picked up this uh, die set by Echo Park. It looks like it's called the First Noel. Um, oh, the the series is the first in a while, but the die, the die is called uh, Christ is Born Nativity Set. Um, let's see if I can get that up there. And I just really like the size of it. Um, and I like that it's silhouette and would be easier to use that way. So I got this one. And then I got just the die of this one. I didn't get the stamp set because I, I knew I wouldn't use it. Um, this is just a tag die. I really love the shape. I love that it already had the whole... Um, down there so it's not like a single circular die that's really tiny that I'll lose. Um, so then I got this just to make some quick tags. And then I got some stencils. Um, this is a layering um, sunflower stamp. I am really into sunflowers and being that I was born and partially raised in Kansas, I don't know, they kind of always held a special place in my heart. So I got this one. Um, again, I love that these layering stencils are really quick and easy to use. So I got that. I got this one with the intention of using my Distress um, glitter. I think it'll go really well on that. If I get a project done, I'll, I'll share that. And then I got these trees. Um, I loved how that they were kind of, I don't know, maybe a little bit more abstract. I felt like this would be a really cute background. And then I got, um, this is just from Amazon. I got this. I know that I shared um, a journal that I made using the Eileen Hole dies. Um, I've been making so much of them lately that I was running out of my smaller tape. So I went ahead and got this tape. Um, it'll just be a lot more efficient. It actually is... Um, I don't know how wide it is. It doesn't say. 
when I looked at it online, I think it was like six to eight inches wide. And so it's gonna make um, making those journals a lot easier instead of using my one inch tape. And then I got this haul from Divinity Designs. The reason I went to their website was for this right here. And you can see that it hardly fits in the frame. Um, it is a nugget box. And it actually will make a very long uh, rectangular box that you can fit. I want to say it's either 10 or 12 Hershey's Nuggets across it. And I saw some project with it and I absolutely loved it. My other idea would be to use this as a, a slimline like card box to like gift out some slimline cards. Um, but I actually really want to make some like nugget holders with this. And I like it because it also comes with the wrappers to wrap the nuggets. So then you're not having to cut these by hand your, or measure them out and then use your paper trimmer. Um, you can just cut these all in one pass. Then while I was there, um, I found a couple, oh, this goes with the nugget box. This is the nugget box snowflake background. So this is just so you can create an additional background um, to go on top of your box here and just make it a little bit more decorative. Then I wanted, um, I have an idea for one of these, um, I have an idea for a journal and I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't have all the supplies for it. So as soon as I saw this recipe card lines, um, I figured I would be able to do a project I, that I've had going on in my, in my head for a while. Um, it's not as big as I had hoped. I, I'm guessing it's probably four by six and I should have read that, but I still think it'll work. Um, so I picked up this recipe card lines and then I got this recipe card categories. Um, just has appetizers, main entree, breads and rolls, soups and salads, favorite recipe, crock pot. Love this. I haven't seen a crock pot recipe uh, stamp. Uh, desserts, casseroles, and vegetables. And then I got this recipe card icons that just again has, you know, the mixer, uh, soup pot, the crock pot. You know, your salt and pepper, your mixing bowl, all of those. So then you can add, there's actually a space right here on your recipe cards to add just a little icon. And then I got this uh, Merry Christmas. It actually is a three piece, um, actually no, it's two. It's two pieces of layering. So then you can um, obviously have a shadow and then the more detailed and then I got this snowflake square background. I just really liked the shape of it. Um, it's not often that you see the bigger square ones. So I wanted to get this one. And then I don't remember ordering this. So I think this might have been a freebie. Um, this is just a mini poinsettia, which I will always use. And I've got probably six poinsettia dies. Um, and that's okay because I use them all. Um, that is it for my hauls. And hopefully I'll be back soon with a project.